Hey everybody, this lesson is uh, problem solving uh, and we're going to model division here. So we're going to do some counters and, and put them into equal groups and stuff. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. Okay, and our common course strand is, is right there. And, and uh, our essential question is how can we use the strategy we're going to act it out to solve problems with equal groups? Okay, so here we go. we got a problem right here. Darren has 16 cookies. It's a cold winter night, so I have my fire, my fireplace going, so you might hear some crackle and pop in the background. Anyway, uh, Darren has uh, 16 cookies. He gives an equal number of cookies to four friends. How many does Darren give to each friend? Okay, so we're set up with a series of questions here, so we're going to read the problem. What do we need to find? Well, we need to find the number of blank that Darren will give to his friends. Well, the number of cookies we're going to give Darren's going to give to his friends, okay? All right, and then so what information do we need? Well, Darren has, how many cookies does he have all together? Well, he has 16 cookies, and he's, he gives an equal number of cookies to how many friends? He has four friends, okay? So that's what goes in right there. Okay, so um, uh, that's just the problem rewritten up there. I'm just saving some space here. So how are we going to use this information? We can act out the problem by making four equal groups with counters, okay? And the counters are going to be the cookies. Okay, and the equal groups are going to be the, the four equal friends. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve the problem. So describe how to act it out. First, we count out uh, how many uh, counters. Okay, so how, these are the cookies. So we're going to count out 16 counters, and then, then we're going to make four equal groups. Okay, so 16 counters and four equal groups. Then we're going to place one cookie. Uh, or one counter, sorry. So you probably have uh, like little circles for counters at your at your uh, your student desk or something, you know, pennies or dimes or whatever, or even just little um, uh, just little pieces to uh, act it out right there. So I happen to find some pictures of cookies right there. So here we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to place one cookie one at a time in each of the four groups, so, okay, until all the 16 counters are gone, okay? So let's go ahead and then uh, I'll go ahead and put this guy right over here, okay? And then we'll put this guy right here. And whoops, let's do, uh, let's keep doing it here. I'm sorry, let's get rid of all the trees first. I'm sorry. So that there's a tree, there's a tree, uh, there's a tree right there. And then we'll go ahead and do the these guys here this will go here we're doing one in each until we run out of all the cookies okay so these are little holiday cookies here okay and then we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and, and put this here put this over here okay you can probably see the answer here so we're taking all these 16 cookies and we're putting putting them in equally into uh, each circle right here, and each circle is going to represent the, the friends. Okay, so it looks like uh, uh, it looks like each friend is going to get four cookies, right? Okay, so that's how we can act it out. Is we can uh, set up counters. So Darren's going to give uh, four cookies to each friend right there. So acting it out lets us uh, do the four equal groups, and we can just place them into the groups uh, individually and, and see how many that works. Okay, here's another one. Looks just like it, you guys. So Tierra has 21 flowers and plans to give them equally to three friends. How many flowers will she give to each friend? Okay, so we are set up with a series of questions. So what do we need to find out? Well, we need to find out how many flowers she's going to give to each friend. That's what the question is asking. What information are we going to use? Well, we know that she has 21 flowers all together. And she's going to give uh, th uh, equally to three friends. So we're going to do the same thing, you guys. So how are we going to use this information? We can act it out and make three equal groups with 21 counters, okay? And the 21 counters are going to be our 21 flowers, okay? And it, So let's go ahead and describe how we're going to act it out. First, uh, let's count out 21 counters. So I have, uh, there's 21 flowers right there. So here's, here's uh, five, here's ten. Here's 15 and then 20, and then here's my 21 right down there, okay? And then so uh, so now we're going to um, uh, make three equal groups, placing one counter, which is our flower, in each group. So I did rectangles this time. There's my three equal groups, and that's going to represent Tierra's three friends. And then we're going to go ahead and place these flowers into each one. So I'll, I'll put one right there. I'll put one right there. 
and just be patient with me while I keep doing it. Okay, now they each have one. So let's give them an, each another one right here until we run out of flowers, okay? So I'll do it again. And then we'll, so each has two now, so let's do another one. So now that one has three, this one has three, and then finally this one has three. I can keep going, so let's go over here. This one has four. Let's get this little guy out of here. This one now has four. This one has four. Almost done. So I can do a couple more in each one. So we're just placing one in, in each uh, as we go along. Okay, so now they all have five. Now they all have six. Is it going to be six? And I think we can get one more in each one. So now they all have uh, seven flowers in each one. So Tierra is going to end up giving each friend seven flowers okay so that's how we can act out these problems here you guys so um, so Tierra can give um, seven flowers oops I put three right there this should be seven sorry this guy's gonna I knew I did that uh, so uh, Tierra can give seven flowers to each one of her friends right there okay you guys all right I hope that makes sense and and that you're having a great year looks like your holidays about ready to come up and have a great break take care